Today we're going to look at the potassium magnetometer from GEM. It's an optically pumped magnetometer and it's among the most sensitive magnetometers available for earth sciences. It's a ground system also available in an airborne system but this video will focus on the ground system. Some of the features of the system are its ultra high sensitivity. It is the most sensitive earth science magnetometer available. It has a very high gradient tolerance which is important when you are surveying areas of culture and high magnetic noise and it has high absolute accuracy. These are just some of the parameters that set the optically pumped potassium magnetometer apart from the rest as well as its very low heading error which is characteristic of potassium optically pumped magnetometers. Let's look at the magnetometer itself in higher detail. Now that your potassium box has arrived it is time to open the box and see exactly what is inside. So the first thing we see is our backpack and then we have the backpack attachment for holding the sensors as well as a backpack attachment for holding the battery and electronics box. This is followed by our sensor. You can see the cable there and underneath the padding is our sensor, a special 35 millimeter cell. For the rest of the box you will find the council, GEM's special council for the potassium magnetometer. The electronics box which powers the magnetometer and records the measurements and cabling for the magnetometer as well as a GPS button at the top. Lastly in the top part of the case we have our sensor staffs which attach to the backpack and can be raised to any particular height desired. That is the basic contents of the potassium box along with one additional piece the sensor holder that appears on the back of the sensor staff. The final element is our lithium ion battery, a special battery that's UN approved for shipment as long as it's in a safe case such as you see here so this is all ready to go and be shipped. We are now ready to configure our potassium magnetometer. It is very easy to do. We start by pressing B, which is the power switch to turn the magnetometer on. And then we'll see a very simple menu system with approximately six or seven menus. In this demo, we are going to use the A survey menu to do most of our setup. And we're going to select A walk mag, which is the setting for our nearly continuous walking magnetometer. Then we are going to scroll over using the F key to cycling and select the frequency of measurement for the system. In this particular case, we are going to choose 100 milliseconds, which correspond to 10 hertz. A very high sampling rate, which is one of the characteristics of this magnetometer. It can sample up to 20 milliseconds if required. Now we're going to move to A, Start, and actually start the survey. For additional configuring steps, please consult your manual. As we can see on the screen, there's a text number being recorded along with the magnetometer data for this particular location. So this is acting as a base station in this particular mode. 